Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have a stitch fix to share with you. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. As usual, I will list all of the big long stitch fix names along with sizing and pricing in the description box below, but I want to get right to the try-ons. The first piece in the box is this Daniel Rain top. This is $58 and it is a size small. I love so much about this and I have learned over time that Daniel Rain is one of my favorite brands and also one of the most expensive as luck would have it. I'm actually working on a thread up video as we speak and I went on thread up and ordered a bunch of pre-owned gently worn Daniel Rain tops that are a fraction of the price that you see in Stitch Fix. But I digress, I'll tell you about this one in my hand. I love this coral color. It has a Swiss dot kind of a chiffon overlay. I'm sure that it's polyester. I keep calling it chiffon. It is lined, so it's not see-through at all. It has a little bit higher of a neckline than anything that I own, but the neckline is extremely soft and stretchy. I think this is so pretty, but I wanna show you why I hesitate. Sometimes in the comment section, you lovely ladies tell me that you like something, but you think I could find something very similar for less. Here is a classic example of that. This is a top that I bought last season at either Ross or Burlington Coat Factory. This is by the brand W5. This is also a size small. It is also coral. It also has a Swiss dot pattern. The neckline is a little bit different. This is more of a traditional halter style, but they are so very similar. If memory serves, I paid either $12.99 or maybe I got super fancy and paid $15.99 for this top. I wanna to bring both of these in closer to show you. Here's the one that I paid substantially less for, and you can see the textured Swiss dot. I have always liked this treatment. I just think it's so pretty and so feminine. This one also has a pretty pom-pom detail along the hem. Now this one is cut in, so I did wear this with a racerback bra. This one does not have a keyhole. And this one just easily slides on over the head. Here's a close-up of the Daniel Rain Top in the Stitch Fix box. And as you can see, this elastic is very loose and stretchy, so that doesn't bother me a bit. Again, it has a pretty Swiss detail. This top is also lined. This top has a keyhole on the back, and even though this top has a high neckline, I did not find that I needed to unbutton these fussy little buttons, which I was very happy about. These tops are so similar to one another. If I were just buying a couple of pieces out of the box, I probably would pass on the Daniel Rain top. It's $58 and it's so similar to this one, but I'm sort of in a five for five scenario because I feel like this box might just be a five for five. Let me know what you think. Are these tops too similar? The next piece in the box is this halter style top by Fortune and Ivy, and this is $38. And in the Stitch Fix world, if you've been watching videos for a while, that's considered a good price. The blue in this particular one is very reminiscent of denim, and you'll see this when I bring this in closer. This top also has a texture to it, which I like a lot. It has a good amount of stretch. It is very comfortable. I love a top like this that has white throughout with a pair of white shorts or capris or even a skirt. This has the keyhole in the back. And again, even though it has these fussy little buttons, for whatever reason, maybe I just have a small head, I did not have to unbutton it. I just slid this on over my head. Let me bring this in closer to show you some detail. Here's a close up of the pattern. And you can see that the blue, although it is not actually denim, is very reminiscent of denim. I don't know if my camera can pick up the actual texture, but there are little raised spots on the white areas. And then here's the back with the keyhole and the buttons, which I didn't have to use. I found this top to be very, very comfortable. And deja vu, I sort of have the same scenario with this top. This top I just received that was a shop my look piece. This is by the brand Paper Moon. It is also made out of a stretchy, cozy fabric. They are so similar in style, and they're both blue. The prints are a little bit different, though. This one is more of a small floral print, 
and this one is a larger floral and also this one has more white. Let me bring this one in closer to show you. Something else that is slightly different about this paper moon top, and I do think it is cute, is this has a V cutout in both the front and the back, so you can see me behind the top. That gives it a little bit of interest around the neckline. And again, this is a blue pattern. This is kind of almost a navy blue and white. I really like these tops equally. I'm going to insert a pole in the cards above. Out of these two halter style tops, which one do you like the most? I really appreciate your feedback. The next piece in the box is this top by Paper Moon. This is a size small and it is $44. I love the coral color of this. I can't remember if I mentioned, but I did ask my stylist for all spring and summer tops. I think the pattern of this is so pretty. It has a very loose and easy sleeve. There's no elastic. And then on the back, I think this zipper detail is really cute. I thought this top looked especially pretty with white bottoms, but I would also wear this with denim. This is another polyester top, and although polyester is not my favorite fabric, there's one thing that I really like about polyester, and that is its ability to hold saturated color. Because I love bold color, I do have polyester pieces in my closet. Now, if I could invent a magic fabric, I would want the breathing ability of cotton, the comfort of a t-shirt knit, and the color saturation of a polyester. I have yet to find that perfect balance, but I digress. What do you think about this top? The next piece is this dress by Kaylee. This is a size small and it is $48. And for a dress, I do think that that is reasonable. I love this color, this Kelly green with a kind of a palm frond print and then the print also has some navy blue. This is a faux wrap dress, and you'll see in the try-on, but it doesn't go all the way through, so even if the wind kicks it up, you're not going to be seeing anything. This is machine washable, tumble dry. It is very comfortable. It is very stretchy but I feel like it's made really good friends with my back fat. Now, if this wasn't a wrap style at the top, I would definitely size up to a size medium and call it a day. My concern is because I have narrow shoulders, if I size up to a medium, I feel like it's going to gape in the front. And yes, I realize that I can sew a snap on it, or I can use fashion tape, and on occasion I do. So I'm trying to decide. I'm leaning toward keeping this dress because I know that I have to start working on losing my, let's just call it quarantine 15 plus that I've gained. And if I lose that, this dress will fit perfectly. It's a great price and I am so close to a five for five. Aside from the fact that this is conspicuously hugging my back fat, what do you think about this dress overall? I am going to insert a poll in the cards above. Should I keep this? The final piece in my box is this cardigan by Mix by 41 Hawthorne, and this is $38 not a bad price. I love the nautical look of this with the navy blue and white. That is one of my favorite combinations. I also found that this mixed and matched with several of the tops that I received in the box, so I can definitely see where my stylist was going with this. The fabric of this cardigan feels very nice. It is very soft and the perfect lightweight fabric for spring and summer. Typically, I'm not the biggest fan of an asymmetrical shark bite hem. I also wish that it had pockets, but it is at a good price and I really like the color combination. Speaking of summer weight cardigans, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't show you this one. This one is from Old Navy. It is a yellow and a white stripe. The fabric feels very similar. This one has more of a straight drape and it also has pockets. I don't know why I'm so fixated with pockets. I rarely ever put anything in it. Random side note, I am working on Poshmark and thread up hauls and try-ons because I want to be able to show you affordable options, but I digress back to Stitch Fix. If I'm not mistaken, this is the least expensive box that I have ever received. I really did like all five pieces, although I have some in my closet that are similar. I'm going to insert a poll. Do you think this is a five for five? 
If you've been thinking about trying Stitch Fix for yourself, I am going to put my referral link in the description box below. They are running a special right now where you will get a $50 credit off of your first box with no styling fee. Shipping is free in both directions. Not only will you get a credit, but I will also get a credit. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you that have used my link. It really helps me to make videos like this. While I'm thinking of it, I want to show you the invoice. This is my fix number 20. My stylist name is Alicia. I have some credit on my account thanks to you lovely ladies that have used my referral link. Thank you so much. If I were to do the buy all, I would get 25% off and this entire box would come to $94.50. And in the Stitch Fix world, that's a really good box, right? This is a top that I already own from last season from Stitch Fix. It's by the brand Kaylee. I wore this to death last season, so I picked up another one in the same cut. Let me show you. When I saw this version on Shop My Looks, I immediately wanted to get it because I have nothing in this color. I love the print. I already knew that I loved the cut of this top. Something that surprised me is that the texture or the fabric of this one is completely different than the yellow one that I just showed you. And it's in a good way. The yellow one that I showed you is a little bit of a stiff feeling polyester. This has more stretch, a softer drape, and I actually find this fabric to be more comfortable. I already knew that I loved the cut of it. The one thing that bothers me about it, and tell me if I'm being weird, has to do with the straps. This strap has a big swath of white that obviously is from the pattern of this fabric, and I totally get that. Maybe I'm just being picky, but even looking in the viewfinder now, this strap does not look like it matches this strap to me. Now, I want to bring this in closer to show you the pattern. And here's a close-up of the straps. This one has a lot more white. It's just where the pattern fell. And this one has a lot more of the forest green. The pattern itself is so pretty though. It has cream and peach. And I'm sure that you could see this better on the try on, but it does have a crisscross on the back. The next piece that I picked up in the Shop My Look section are a pair of shorts. These are by the brand 151. These are a size eight. I do not own a pair of khaki shorts that fit, <laughs> so I picked these up to see how they looked. Honestly, they are a little bit shorter than I would like. I think these are a four inch inseam, and I have noticed in general that whenever I'm looking for shorts, they are either really short, like three inches or below, or really long, so I'm always looking for the sweet spot. You'll have to let me know what you think of these. I do like the pocket style. I wanna bring these in closer to show you. These are a cargo style, and not that anyone would even see the inside of the waistband, but I really like this paisley detail that nobody else will see, but it's just a really nice touch. They do have these kind of pork chop pockets. They do have some stretch to them, and then here's a look at the back pocket, and all of the hardware on these is kind of a brushed, antiqued gold. I also picked up these shorts by the brand Dictionary. These are also a size 8, and these are in army green. I have so many pieces that I feel like will match with this that I can mix and match with that I wanted to try a pair of shorts in this color. These do have a good amount of stretch. I really like the pocket detail. I'll bring these in closer to show you. As with the previous pair, I wish they were a little bit longer and a little bit less snug. But with that said, I'm seriously considering keeping these. I have to lose this quarantine 15 at some point. I know it's not a good idea to keep clothes that don't fit me currently. Maybe this will give me some motivation. Let me bring this in closer to show you. These shorts also have a fun contrast pattern inside the waistband. The front pockets have what remind me of a sailor uniform button style. And here's a look at the back pocket. Lately, I'm feeling like army green is really a neutral and that these will mix and match with so many tops in my wardrobe. Now, the reason that I picked up so many pair of shorts in the shop my look section is because I have very few that fit me other than the ones that I purchased this year for videos. So this is the final pair of shorts that I picked up from Stitch Fix. 
These are by Cut From The Cloth. These are a little bit unusual for a couple of reasons. One is I don't have any denim shorts in this light of a wash, and these also have a kind of interesting released hem. Again, I wish they were a little bit longer and a little bit less snug. Let me bring these in closer to show you. These do have a little bit of distressing. That doesn't bother me at all. They also have just enough stretch. Here's a look at the back pocket and you can see that there's a little bit of distressing there as well. And then here's a look at this released hem and because it goes from light to mid-range to dark, it gives an ombre effect. I'm just hoping that the darkest color doesn't hit me at the widest point of my thigh because then that will make these not look flattering. I received this cardigan that I had picked up in the Shop My Look section right before I received my Stitch Fix box with the navy and white one. This is kind of the opposite color combination of the old navy one that I showed you. After looking at all three sweaters side by side, this is the one I'm leaning toward liking the most. I like that the yellow is the more dominant color and that the white is an accent color. This is another soft feeling, lightweight fabric for spring and summer. It does have pockets and it does have a straight drape. Because you ladies never steer me wrong, I wanna insert a poll in the cards above. I've shown you three sweaters throughout this video and I'm really curious which one is your favorite. So we have the navy blue and white that came in my regular Stitch Fix box. We have the ivory with yellow that I got on Poshmark for $11.99. And we have the yellow and ivory that I picked up in Shop My Looks. Let me know in the poll above which is your favorite. The next piece that I picked up in Shop My Look is this halter style top by Verse. I love the pattern on this and I think that this is going to be very slimming and elongating. This is a linen and I don't own anything linen because I really am not big on ironing. But I do have a little hand steamer, so I went ahead and steamed this out and it steamed very quickly. It only took me about two minutes. I love the color combination and pattern of this one so much. It is also very light and breathable. Let me bring this in closer to show you. Here's a close-up of the pattern. I love how the bright pop of yellow runs vertically and then it also has blue and coral and navy and several other colors in it. This one also has a keyhole in the back and just like with the other halter styles that I showed you, I am able to slip this on over my head without even bothering with the fussy little button, so that's a bonus. While I'm in tight, I also want to show you these earrings that I also picked up on Shop My Look. This is by the brand Nacamole. I don't know why, but I always want to say Whack-A-Mole. I saw these on Kayla and decided to give them a try. They are very well made. They go with everything because they have so many colors. These are definitely a keeper. They came in this little logoed jewelry pouch. I found that my shoe wardrobe was completely lacking when it comes to an easy wedge that I can just slide on. I also thought that these would particularly match the woven bag that I use all of the time from Lucky Fine. Let me bring these shoes in closer to show you. Now full disclosure, typically a heel this high would not work for me. I am actually surprised by how comfortable these are and I think it's because there is a platform so even though they look very high they still feel very stable. They also have elastic goring here. These provide just the right amount of arch support for me and they have just enough padding to make these comfortable. These are by the brand Report, I believe is how it's pronounced. These are a size 8 and you can see that the jute detail covers every inch of these shoes. It is such a perfect neutral. And something that's always important to me, these do have non-slip bottoms as well. The final pair of shoes that I picked up from Shop My Look are by the brand Market and Spruce. I want to bring these in closer. Something about these shoes just drew me in. The color combination with the black, khaki, and cream make these very neutral. This shiny silver disc gives them just a little bit of shine. 
The part that goes between your toes is not stiff or uncomfortable at all, and that is definitely a deal breaker for me. If this part of the shoe like this isn't comfortable, I can't wear them. I also like that even though this is a flat shoe per se, it does have good arch support and a little bit of lift. You can see this is about an inch tall. These also have a good amount of padding, very comfortable. When I tried these on, I didn't find that this part rubbed my foot at all. It's always hard to tell when you try on a pair of shoes for just a few moments, but so far, so good. Let me know in the comment section if you like seeing the additional Stitch Fix pieces from Shop My Look. I enjoy filming Stitch Fix videos, but I think this kind of rounds it out a little bit. Let me know what you think of this format. In case you're curious, this bright and cheery yellow crochet top that I have on in some of the try-ons is an Amazon find. I bought one last year and I lived in it. The first one that I picked up was in this pretty cherry red, and then I also picked it up in brown because I didn't have anything like it for my summer wardrobe. I also sent one of these same tops to my good friend and subscriber Flossie over in Australia. And Flossie, if you're watching, hi Flossie. I sent her the same top in cobalt blue because I thought it would look pretty with her coloring. I might have to get that one for myself, but I digress. So let's talk about my outfit of the day. I decided a couple of months ago that I was going to splurge and buy one new spring dress and I was going to wear it throughout the spring season. Bear in mind that this was pre-pandemic, so I envisioned floating into an event in this dress. That is not going to happen. Now I know that the experts tell us that we should get fully dressed every day so that we feel a sense of normalcy, and I get where they're going with that. However, I am not Zsa Zsa Gabor, and I cannot imagine floating around my house in an off-white chiffon dress. So other than filming a video, I guess I won't be wearing this dress this season. I'm going to hold on to it for next season though. This is a dress by Vince Camuto. This is a size eight. If you watch a lot of my videos, first and foremost, thank you. You know that I have a weakness for these bell sleeves and anything that has a little bit of a ruffle and detail. I love these sleeves so much. This dress also has pretty flouncy layers. It hits me at just the right length and it is machine wash and tumble dry and that was a big selling point for me. I also love the pops of blue and green in this floral pattern. I just think this is so pretty. The earrings that I have on are from Walmart. These were one of my many clearance rack finds and I want to say that I paid right around three dollars for them. The shoes that I have on are by the brand Alfani, and these are a very comfortable pump. I personally rarely wear heels, and I find that I can walk in these and not look like a baby giraffe. I am going to link the dress, if I can find it, and the shoes in the description box below. Now, because today is a bright, sunny day, I'm curious to watch the footage back on this dress, and you'll notice that the tag is still on it because I have not worn it. I want to see if it is see-through in the sunlight. Speaking of try-ons, because we're in serious lockdown in New Jersey, I'm trying to do my try-ons outside because I need to get some vitamin D. I feel like a mole person at this point. Now, out here in the country where I live, it's pretty easy to social distance because as you can see, there is not a house in sight. With that said, once a week, I go to the grocery store to get essentials. And I have been fortunate to have three friends make me masks. The first mask that I received, my very best friend Jody made this one for me. I want to bring this in closer to show you. This one has a fun chocolate print. Jody loves chocolate. She is the friend that caught me having a YouTube channel. If you haven't watched my video, Confessions of a New YouTuber, I am going to link that in the cards above. But I digress. This one has the pleated detail so that you can conform this to the shape of your face, and it also has elastic for the ears. I think it's hilarious that this one looks like a box of chocolates. The next mask that I want to share with you was made by my good friend Sherry. Sherry and I have known each other since elementary school and we have stayed in touch all of these years. Sherry is a nurse and she is very dedicated to safety. I really admire that about her. 
In a recent conversation, Sherry asked me if I needed a mask, and this is the one that she gave me. Let me bring this in closer. How pretty is this floral pattern? Now, Sherry has to wear these masks all day, every day at work, so she made this extra sturdy. You can put a filter in it. It also has a piece of flexible wire that fits to the contour of your nose. This one also has elastic. She did this in a pretty pink. And the third mask that I receive is also from a good friend and a subscriber. Annie thoughtfully messaged me and asked if I needed a mask because she was making them. And at the time that she messaged me, the two that I had were in the washing machine. So I told her that I would appreciate it if she wanted to send it. And this is the one that she sent me. Now she had no way of knowing this, but I wear gray a lot. And I really like the way this one is constructed. Let me bring this in closer to show you. This one has the same pleated detail. I love the fact that this is kind of a neutral because it's gray. What I like about this one in particular is that it has ties instead of elastic. I love the pattern of this one and Annie, thanks again for sending this to me. I truly appreciate it. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.